All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you here. It's nine minutes with me on IGTV, YouTube, and Facebook. I am here, as you can see, right behind me at the Allen Angus Pub. Just had a delicious Southwest chicken salad and some Italian wedding soup for lunch. Make sure you get here before and after all the big events in Syracuse, Central New York area. This place does it right. Chicken sandwiches, great burgers, awesome beers on tap and in the bottle. And uh, gift cards are also available uh, for the holiday season. They can also cater your parties and they can host your get-togethers as well. The Al and Angus Pub, home of the best darn Angus burger in town. And by the way, the entrees, chicken parm, two-piece chicken, fried shrimp, broiled lemon pepper haddock, fish and chips. You can't beat this place. Downtown Central New York, 238 Harrison Street. Make sure you get here before and after all the big events in Central New York. A lot of people coming home from the holidays and uh, give this place a real shot. I'm going to get into the Buffalo Sabres again on this video. And my God, last night was unbelievable. I was on the edge of my seat basically the entire night watching the Sabres come back on the Pittsburgh Penguins and then obviously watching the Monday Night Football game between the uh, Chiefs and Rams in which they combined for 105 points. But, you know, it's easy to look at the Sabres and say Carter Hutton's amazing. Brick, brick brick wall of a goaltender. It's easy to say that Jack Eichel is about a point a game guy. It's easy to say that you're you're getting the development out of Sam Reinhart and the development out of uh, Casey Middlestat and the development out of Jake McCabe and the development out of a bunch of different lines. It's easy to just say what they're doing uh, from a from a major production standpoint. But I'm here to tell you that one of the things that the Sabres are doing this year that they haven't done in the past seven years. You know, they haven't made the playoffs since 2011. Uh, one of the things that they're doing that they have not done in the last seven years is <laughs> there's the owner, Randy Beach, right there. Um, Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Randy. You too. Um, is the little things. I think that's the one thing. How many times Sabres games, if you're a Sabre fan, how many times did you watch during an 82-game schedule? How many times did you watch and see that they couldn't clear the puck? over and over and over again out of the zone. It leads to an extra pass. It leads to a goal, and it's a back-breaking goal. Are there, how many, you know, can I give you a, a date and time? Can I give you a team? I can't, but I know I saw it a million times. So you can just go back in the annals of the tape and find a million different sequences where this kind of stuff happened to the Buffalo Sabres. Look at the little things like just skating up into the zone quickly. And that, I will credit Phil Housley, the head coach of the Buffalo Sabres. He's in year two now, and a lot of people are starting to buy in. It also helps that you have the number one pick in the NHL draft and Rasmus Dahlin, who's been unbelievable as well. Uh, and then you've got Ra uh, Rasmus Ristolainen, uh, who isn't a number one defenseman. But now, because you have Rasmus Dahlin, those guys are asked to do a lot less. You become a deeper, better balanced team. That's how you win in sports. You win with depth and you win with balance. Getting Rasmus Dahlin as a top defenseman. Now you can you know, put Rasmus Ristolainen in a different role. You can team him up with Dahlin on the power play. Jake McKay doesn't have to do as much. There's just so many little things going on right now with the Buffalo Sabres. Clearing the zone. Getting the puck into the zone uh, on offense and getting together with the forecheck and getting that puck deep. Uh, it used to take the Sabres so long to just go from behind the goalie up until the middle of the ice and then try to hope to get the puck in in in, in the zone, in, in, in the opponent's end. Uh, now it's like instantaneous. It's quick pass, quick pass, and you're there. And, and it's just something really great to watch. And it doesn't matter really who it is. It doesn't matter if it's Jack Eichel or Casey Middlestad or one of the defensemen taking care of business uh with 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 the puck but this team has been extremely exciting you think about the comebacks that they've had uh, against montreal uh, they had the comeback against pittsburgh of course the winnipeg game was unbelievable uh, a few nights ago and then they followed that up with by the way a 21 hour about a 21 22 hour time period from they faced up from when they faced off against uh, winnipeg plus the flight to minnesota and they're down, and they went and scored you know, a couple more goals in the last couple of minutes, Pominville getting the game winner in that one. So this team has been wildly entertaining. They're right now one of the top few teams in the NHL. Um, and, and I think the biggest thing, too, for the Sabres is that they've had a really good start to the season. I mean, we're only, um, what, about a month and a half into the hockey season right now, and the Sabres traditionally have been a terrible team starting this year not the case. They've been getting points in several games, and now with all these comeback games, uh, this team is rolling and starting to add up some points. I, I will say, though, that one thing that the Sabres have to definitely work on 
is in the beginning of the games, don't always get down two goals. I know that right now they seem to have a weird comfort level in terms of uh, you know getting down by two and they just keep working, keep fighting the next goal, the next goal, the next, and then you're you're good, right? But in this particular case, eventually that will wear out. So the Sabers need to not get down by a couple of goals as time marches on. Should be a wild atmosphere tomorrow. Um, in Buffalo uh, at, at the arena. Uh, they're home over Thanksgiving week. The team is hot right now. They've got Philadelphia, Montreal, and then uh, San Jose tomorrow, Friday, and Tuesday, respectively. So uh, looking forward to uh, seeing what they do at home. I think fans should pack the place tomorrow night, and I can't imagine how much money they're going to make off of the Sabres store uh, tomorrow, okay, but Friday for Black Friday and all the rest, and then into next week with the holiday season with a team playing extremely well. And, you know, Buffalo fans needed this because the Buffalo Bills right now are a total clown parade. Josh Allen is out. Uh, the team's going to be one of the top six, seven teams to pick in the NFL draft. And uh, the city of Buffalo is super depressed after they broke the drought last year and they're transitioning at quarterback and all the rest. Well, guess what? Surprise, surprise. Phil Housley in year two with this Buffalo Sabres team. They're playing extremely well. And uh, Jack Eichel gets the $80 million. He gets the captaincy. Uh, Rasmus Dahlin is already growing into a really, really good young player. Um, you look at all these guys, too, by the way. Middlestat and Dahlin and Eichel and Reinhardt. All these guys are 23 and younger, I mean, for the most part. And then you balance that out with veterans like Carter Hutton in goal. You balance that out with a guy like Jason Pominville, who came back from Minnesota. Um this is a team that's really rolling right now, and and it's the little things, as I mentioned, that, that I look at above everything else. I mean, I think they've had talent the last seven years. I think they've had solid goaltending the last several years. A lot of those Ryan Miller teams uh, were reminiscent of Dominic Hasek's years, you know, where you had the goal, you had about three, four good defensemen, and then you just didn't have a lot of snipers to put the puck in the back of the net. Um, they've had a, a good goaltending. They've had talent. They've had a lot of this the last seven years. What they haven't done is the little things. They haven't gotten the puck into the zone quicker, uh, limiting penalties, getting the you know getting the puck out of the zone uh, when, when the other team is pressing, uh, not leading to the extra pass, which leads to the back-breaking goal. Those are all the things that are happening right now uh, for the Buffalo Sabres. Just a super, super exciting team, super fun to watch, and uh, can't wait to see what they do tomorrow, Friday, and Tuesday against the Flyers, Canadians and Sharks, respectively. Well, there you go. That's nine minutes with me, Mike Lindsley, IGTV, YouTube, and Facebook. Make sure you get a hold of me on Twitter, at Mike L Sports. Be on the lookout for the next giveaway. Also, I'm on Snapchat and Instagram, Mike L Sports 1979 and you can visit PinstripePassion.com for my Yankees and baseball commentary. Again, I'm here from the Allen Angus Pub. Just had a delicious lunch. I uh, had the Southwest Chicken Salad and uh, a bowl of the Italian wedding soup. Uh, wish I could stay for dessert, actually. This place is really terrific. Try the chicken sandwiches. The Boom Boom's great. The Louis Armstrong's amazing. Home of the best darn Angus burger in town. Multiple years, the Power Play Burger has been the best burger voted in the state of New York. So make sure you come down and try that as well. Great beers on tap and in the bottle. Gift cards available for the holiday season. And they'll take care of your office party here for your holidays. Or they will cater your party uh, as well. So make sure you lean on the Allen Angus Pub. 238 Harrison Street, downtown Syracuse. And uh, certainly the place to be before and after all the big events, uh, basketball, uh, hockey, and of course concerts, get down to the Al and Angus Pub, home of the best darn Angus burger in town and the official pub and restaurant of the ML Sports Platter. Thanks for watching Nine Minutes with me on IGTV, Facebook, and YouTube. By the way, don't forget to download my podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. I'm going to have Gilbert Perot, the Sabres great on tomorrow. And on December 4th, I'm taping an interview with Cal Ripken Jr. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.